kindergarten, first grade, second grade, families and friends, welcome to one of the highlights of, of our, our weeks here at BFCCPS, an academic assembly. Today you're all here to see second grade present some of what they've learned on continents and oceans. And afterwards, we'll hear a little bit about all the great things our students are doing and how they're showing the four virtues of the school and character every day with their classmates and their teachers. I'd like to introduce Mrs. Weedman. Let's give her a big round of applause to kick things off. Thank you, Mr. Berna. So, yeah, we are learning about continents and oceans. Um, we're going to sing a song to you that teaches you a little bit more about the continents and remind you of our five oceans, right? Okay, are we ready? Yeah. One, yeah. two, three. Our Earth is a very, very, very big place. It is covered by water and land. It has five huge oceans where we can swim and seven continents where we can stand. Asia is the continent that has the most it's also the largest in size. It has the 50 highest mountains in the world. Their peaks reach high into the sky. Second largest is Africa. It's the hottest continent of all. It has the largest sandy desert in the world. The animals look hard and small. Okay, Australia! Give it a round of applause! 
friends today to tell you about. I'm so proud of all of their hard work. My first one, let me find her sheet. It's, I got it. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> my friend Emma. Emma comes to school every day with this bright smile on her face. She is a kind friend to all her classmates and is always inclusive, which is a big word meaning she always accepts all her friends and plays with everyone. She maintains a positive attitude throughout the day. I can always count on Emma for an encouraging word or a helpful hint for her classmates. She is a role model for her peers. She comes each day ready to learn. I'm so proud of you, Emma. Keep up the field. All right, now I have my friend Marin. Marin is getting a leaf for fortitude. She is a hardworking second grader. I have seen firsthand Marin's dedication to her schoolwork. She's worked hard, very hard this year in writing. Marin is really focused on adding details to her writing. She often adds writing traits we learn in class to her own writing prompts, so it's so fun to see her make those connections in class. She also takes her time to complete her work neatly and accurately. I'm so proud of you, Marin. Keep up your work. My friend, Olivia. Olivia is getting a, a leave today for temperance. Olivia is another one who comes to school every day ready to learn. She always has a positive attitude with everything that she does. She arrives each day smiling and often tells me how much she loves school and wishes she could come to school on the weekend. That's what she said. She loves it so much. Olivia is a model student for her classmates. On the rug, she always shows whole body listening and she approaches all academic tasks with hard work and determination. I'm very proud of you, Olivia. And my friend Finn. Finn is receiving a leave today for justice. Finn is an important member of our classroom community. He remembers his good manners every day. Recently, Finn began staying for courtyard dismissal, and every day he helps me prepare the classroom for the next day. He gets the calendar ready, checks the floor for any scraps of paper, and always tidies up the room. I have really appreciated having an extra helper in the afternoon and all of Finn's help. So thank you, Finn. Okay, I have five second grade friends. My first one is Sydney, and Sydney is receiving her leave for temperance. Temperance, do you remember what that is? I'm putting you on the spot. You got it, self-control. She's got a very little voice. Sydney is an extremely bright girl, and she's a very conscientious student. She volunteers all the time, but never, ever, ever yells out an answer, do you? You always raise your hand, you wait your turn. I love it. Also, I'm very proud of your ability to listen in the classroom. You listen, you follow directions, you're an awesome role model, and we love having you around. So keep up the good work. All right, we have my friend William here, and William is receiving a leaf for justice. justice. Do you remember what justice is? Being fair. Awesome. And he's very smart, too. So being fair. So you include everyone all the time, my friend. You cooperate during the activities. You listen to everyone. You give everyone an opportunity to speak. And I wrote here that I enjoy listening to you, interacting with your classmates because you solve problems and you do things very fairly and in a very just way. So we love it and we love having you in the classroom. <laughs> and this is our new friend, Kaylee. Kaylee just started right after Thanksgiving, right? And I could give you um, a leaf for fortitude for being brave, starting at a new school, but I am giving you a leaf for patience because you're very, very patient girl. When someone starts at a school, we need to get you new books, a new desk, a nameplate, and we remember all those things, right? Because they're obvious, but we forget like your wonders account and your extra math account, and you have to be very patient with your teacher when she forgets these things, right? And so I really appreciate it. And remember, I'm giving you the sleep because 
other things might show up. <laughs> Here is my sweet friend, Sadie, and you were receiving a leaf for Prudence. Remember what that is? What is it? It's using your head in kindness. You know what that is, right? So my friend Sadie is always, always helping, all the time. Like you got the squirts for me this morning. I can think of things that you've done just in the last few minutes. Right, Abe? I see you shaking your head. You agree. You're an excellent role model. You make great choices all the time in the classroom. People watch you, and then they make good choices, and we really appreciate that. So keep being prudent, and I, you're always kind, so I don't need to remind you to do that. Nice job, Sadie. <laughs> My last second grade friend to get a leaf is Abe. And Abe is receiving a leaf for off. Optimism. Want to say it again? Optimism. It's a, it's a tough one, isn't it? Optimism. 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 Love it. So my friend Abe is such a positive person. He's always looking on the bright side. If we have a change in the schedule or we don't get to something, do you ever complain? No. And as a matter of fact, you say, uh, it's okay, Mrs. Weedman. We'll do that later or we'll do that another time. And you say that to your friends, too. So you're always helping me out, and you're helping everyone to look on the bright side. And we need people like you, Abe, right? We need cheerful, happy, optimistic people. So keep up the good work, my friend. And Mrs. Setti, is Mrs. Setti coming up? A great job, second grade. You guys did awesome. And Brooke was receiving her leave. She was supposed to get it a few weeks ago, but she wasn't able to be here. And this is part of why Brooke is getting one, is because she always is optimistic and creative, right? No matter what's going on, Brooke is always smiling. She's always happy. She actually broke her, um, would you break your wrist uh, at the beginning of the year? You never would have known because she never complained. She never missed a beat. She was always happy, never frustrated, right? She did everything, she participated in everything, never, ever, ever once complained. She's always <coughs> optimistic, always positive, always looking on the bright side. Awesome job, Brooke. <laughs> but, this is my friend Colin, and Colin is new to our school too, just like Mrs. Weedman's friend. And actually Colin is getting his leave for optimism and courage, because you, know, you are very brave to come to a new school, right? And he's also very patient too, just like Mrs. Weedman's friend. He um, just came, he, like he's always been here though, right? He just fit right in, right? <laughs> Colin's doing a great job, he's made lots of new friends, he's learning a lot, he's always working hard, and I'm really proud of you, and I'm so happy to have you in our class. Thank you all for My friend Adelina, and Adelina is receiving her leave today for perseverance and courage because she has shown a lot of focus and a lot of determination to do her very, very best in first grade, right? You work very hard, you make good choices independently, and I'm really, really proud of all of that. You're also a great helper. Anytime Mrs. Setti needs something, you're helping. Or even if I don't even tell you that I need something, you're always doing something to help out, right? Like putting something away. Yes. Adeline is a great helper and a great uh, first grader with a lot of courage and perseverance. Awesome job, Adeline. This is my friend Nick, and Nick is receiving or temperance because he is a great friend. Temperance and justice, actually, because he is a great friend. He makes wise choices. He is curious. He works hard all the time. He has great manners. He's very responsible. He's humble. He's respectful. And he does all these things even when no one's looking, right? You don't do it just because the teacher's watching. Awesome job, Nicholas. Bravo. <laughs> I like everything. 
to be a very specific way. So we have our specific order, right, my friends in room seven? I already have, yes, we have to be very in order. So I have six friends in room seven receiving their leaves today. This is my friend, Mancha, and Mancha is actually supposed to receive her leave at the last assembly, but she was sick. So she had to wait and she's getting it today. Mancha is receiving her leave today for self-control, patience, and making wise choices. Do you always make good choices? You do. You always make the right choices. I can always depend on Mancha to do the right thing. Lately in our class, in the month of December, it gets a little crazy in kindergarten. We get a little excited for different things going on. But Mancha, oh, yes. Mancha has been keeping her self-control. Every time I look at Mancha, she's sitting, she's listening, she's making the right choices. She's such an amazing role model for her friends. And I'm always telling her friends, if you need to remember what we're supposed to be doing, you can look at Mancha, right? She's always making good choices, and we love having her in our class. Keep up the great work, my friends. Magnolia, and she's getting a leave for awesome hugs. No, she, she could be. She is getting a leave for kindness because she's such a sweet, kind friend to everyone in our class, but also for integrity. And that's a word that we don't talk about really in kindergarten. Do you know what that means? Integrity? It means that you are true to who you are. You are such a special, creative person. And Magnolia is such an amazing person in our class. She makes these wonderful books and stories and sings songs. She's so creative and she loves to entertain others. She even told me that she wants to be a pop star, right? And when she's a pop star and she's famous and she's on stage, who are you going to give your first autograph to? Do you remember? Me, right? After mom and dad? Yeah. Mrs. Tate gets the first autograph. She's just such a wonderful student. She can be both a leader and a team member, but she's always true to who she is. And it's such a unique quality to have for such a young student. And I love it, love it, love it. Keep up the great work, my friend. I don't know if you can tell, but Jack is really excited to get his leaf today. Are you really excited? Yes. Jack is getting his leaf today for helpfulness and for perseverance. Jack is an amazing helper to me and to Mrs. Dunlap and to everyone in our class. Jack is always cleaning up, helping out, and I love the classroom nice and clean, right? So can I always count on you to push in the chair and clean up? Even when I don't ask, Jack is always cleaning. And also, Jack is a very hard-working student, and he has been working so very hard on his writing, and because of that, his writing keeps getting better and better, right? You like him, you like work? How does it work? Uh, we can talk about it. <laughs> but Jack is such an amazing student in our class, and we just love, love, love having him. Keep up the great work, my friend. This is my friend Lucy, and Lucy is also a new student to our class. She started right after Thanksgiving. But I am telling you, even the very first day of school, you would never, ever have noticed that Lucy was a new student. She came right in, followed the rules, made friends, such an amazing student. So Lucy received her leave today for courage and for optimism. Because making a big change like that can be very hard, right? Was it hard for you, Luce? Was it hard? No. You came in even when you were doing your tour with mom and dad. And what happened when you came in? You said, I want to stay here. Right? Even just when you were doing a tour, you jumped right into our classroom. And you know, become such an important part of our classroom community in just a couple of weeks. We love having you in our class. You're such an optimistic presence in our class. We love having you. It's such a nice friend to have. This is my friend Blake. Blake is receiving his leave today. Oh, I love these hugs today. I just want to stop the For optimism and for friendship. Blake is a very optimistic friend. He comes in every day with this big smile. Show him your smile. Every day. Good morning, Mrs. Tegan. And his smile rarely ever leaves his face. He is always smiling. He is always happy. Such an optimistic, positive attitude all the time, no matter what we're doing. Even if we have to do really hard work, do you ever complain? No. You just work hard, you keep going, you're such a kind friend to everyone in our class, you're fair, you take turns, and I just love having you in our classroom. You're like a big, bright ray of sunshine is what I put in your face. You really are. You're a true joy to be around my time. <laughs> Right? 
show everyone you have a beautiful dress, right? Navia is receiving her leave today for making wise choices and for perseverance. Navia is another friend who works really hard to make the right choices all the time, and she's been doing such a great job. And perseverance, because do you work really hard? Even at home, Navia works really hard, and she'll come in with these amazing math sheets that she does at home, and she's so proud of herself, and she works just so hard. And because of how hard you work, what's happening to your schoolwork? Is it getting what? Better and better. You've been working so hard. We love having you in our class, Navia. You're such an amazing friend to have, and you're such a wonderful student. We love having you. Great job, second grade. That was awesome. That's really helpful because we introduced the continents in kindergarten. So it was really fun to hear all those awesome facts. So great job. My first friend receiving a leave today is Mr. Brody. And Brody is receiving his leave today for self-control and kindness. Brody has been such a great job following the routines and the rules of kindergarten, don't you? Yes. Uh, again, like Mrs. Tagan said, it's a very busy time of year and a very exciting time of year. And Brody has been doing a fantastic job setting a great example for listening and being able to do the right thing at the right time, haven't you, Brody? Yes. You can always count on him to set a great example for all of his friends. So awesome job with that. Also, Brody is super kind. I never hear, I always hear nice words coming out of Brody's mouth with his friends and his teachers. He plays with everybody. He includes everybody. And that is so, it's so awesome to have such a kind and awesome friend in kindergarten. We're very lucky to have him, Brody. Great job. Hi, Michaela. Michaela is receiving her leave today for responsibility. That's a big word, huh? And for helpfulness. Those kind of go hand in hand. Michaela is an extremely responsible kindergarten student. She knows what the rules and routines are and follows them all day long. I never have to ask Michaela more than once, do I, to do something. And she has been doing excellent, excellent work in kindergarten. She's taking her time. She follows the directions immediately. She never has to ask me again what she needs to do because she's listening and being super responsible. And that's awesome. Michaela also stays with me courtyard at the end of the day, and she is so helpful to me, aren't you? Does she remind me if I forget to set up the schedule? And she helps me with that. She helps me put the message, the old one in the recycling bin, and the chairs. And, and if I forget anything, she's always there to, to help me remember, don't you? And that's awesome. We love having you, Michaela. Great job. This is my buddy James. And James is a kindergarten student who is curious and loves to learn, don't you? You love to learn about things. And his reading and writing has gotten awesome, hasn't it? You really have taken off with that. I love watching you read books and starting to write all sorts of sentences. It's so awesome. But what I love about you, James, is that you know what you're great at, and you also know what you need to work on, right? And he um, understands when he makes a mistake, it's okay, right? And he always takes his mom or dad's suggestions or my suggestions to work on things, don't you? And he, I hear the exact words coming out of his mouth of suggestions that I've given him. And I hear things I know mom's told you too. And that's so awesome. And you're always honest. You're getting your leave for honesty. I forgot to say that. And perseverance. Because you really work at things that you know you need to work on, right? And you're honest about things when you do make a mistake. You don't worry about it. You say, yeah, I did that. And you move on. And you learn from it. And you try harder next time, don't you? And that is an awesome, awesome quality to already be able to do that at such a young age, James. So I'm very proud of you. I'm very lucky to have you, buddy. Hello, Brian. Brian is receiving his leave for self-control as well and for perseverance. Uh, Brian has been doing such a great job in kindergarten this year. He is such a go-with-the-flow kid, aren't you? You just, you, nothing ever phases you. You're very optimistic. You're very happy. You go with the flow. If I ask you to do something again, you do it, right? If I ask you to fix something, you're like, okay, right, right? <laughs> he's happy to see some of his friends. Um, he's willing to work hard at anything I, I ask him to do. He was out for a couple of weeks, uh, just a little bit ago, weren't you? And he, I was so proud. He did work at home to keep up. He came back, and you jumped right back into our routine. It was like you were even out. That was awesome. Very, very great. 
You also, I notice, sit right down on the rug, fold your hands, and your eyes are on me whenever we're starting a big group activity, right? And that's su such a great example for all your classmates, Brian. It's awesome. We love having you. Congratulations. Can I please have my friends Rashika, Will, Mason, and Jonathan? Second grade, that was an awesome performance, and everybody's being so patient, guys. We're almost done. Thank you for being such a good audience. My friend Rashika today is receiving her leave for optimism and for fortitude. And Rashika is this bright, smiling, happy, always, always, always happy girl all day, right? She comes into school, she says hello and good morning to her friends, to her teachers. Um, recently, she's really proud of her writing and her drawing, aren't you? And I love it, and she comes up, and even if she's already shown it and checked it with um, another teacher, she'll come up to me and she'll say, I just wanted to show it to you, um, because it's amazing, and because the effort she puts in is fantastic. Um, I said that you receive, um, sorry, you do well at any task that you're given, and um, no matter what, you do a fantastic job, and you put your best effort in, and I love that that smile stays on your face all the time, and that you're very patient, you're very laid back, you don't let the little things bother you, right? And you just are so happy all day long, and we're so happy to have her in class. Nice job. My friend Will is receiving his leave today for perseverance and also for temperance. Um, and I wrote that Will has shown the most impressive work over the last few weeks and the positive, fantastic attitude to match that work has been amazing. And first grade work is hard and, um, and we all know it's a big transition and sometimes it takes a little while to get into your routine of things, right? And sometimes it's hard and sometimes it's exhausting. And Will has just done an amazing job. We're seeing his smile. I feel like 20 times a day now, his awesome smile, and he's just, he's, he's so happy to do what's asked of him, and he's proud of his work, and he's, he's just been a fantastic role model, and super, super patient, and we're so happy about that. Mason, my friend Mason today is receiving his leave for justice, and for fortitude for his hard work. Mason is such a caring and kind boy who does his absolute best to make others feel happy and to make others feel welcome in the classroom. Uh, we recently did a writing assignment and we had to write about ourselves, our snowmen on the board, right? And, um, and Mason, one of the things that Mason wrote was that he's good at making friends and he always wants to make new friends. And I thought that was amazing and that just shows Mason's character. Um, Mason is extremely creative with his work, with his drawing, and he's like spreading this contagious creativity around the classroom lately, and I love it, and others want to be creative like him, and it's easy to see why they want to be Mason's friend and always want to be around him, because he's just has that wonderful personality, and he's so fantastic to be around all the time, even when he's not feeling great, right? <laughs> nice job, Mason. Jonathan clapping for his other friends, of course, because that's what Jonathan does. Um, Jonathan is a fantastic student. I also gave him temperance and optimism. His manners are unbelievable. His self-control, unbelievable. Um, he's kind. He would do anything to help or cheer up a friend. And when I hand out things, papers, things like that, he's always using his manners. He's always saying thank you. Um, his classmates notice, and they'll often follow in his footsteps because he's fun to be around. Um, and he's a really good role model, and I think that they see that in you. And I definitely think that they see that in Jonathan. Um, I love his bright, positive outlook. I love his cheeriness. Yesterday, you guys were going to art, and he was one of the last people in line, and that's just what he does, and he turns around, and he's like, bye, Mrs. Saru. And even though they're only leaving me for like 45 minutes, it's just the sweetest thing, and he's so kind, and we love having him. Families, friends, students, thank you for coming today and learning, and hearing about what our second graders are learning, and celebrating all the great things that our kindergarten, first, and second graders are demonstrating with their good character. Now, friends, I like to end assemb assemblies in a silly, happy way. Do you think you can help me give second grade props? Yeah! All right, let's go together. Remember, it's two claps, two pats. 
two snaps, and we'll let Mrs. Weedman and Miss Dorsey's class know they did a great job by saying yeah. You ready? On three. One, two, three.